Nicholas Jaeger, like Emmanuel Cauchy, was a doctor. Fascinated by hypoxia, he put himself to the test in order to solve its enigmas. In 1979, he climbed to the top of the Andes in Peru. He lived at 6,700 meters longer than anybody in history, undergoing medical exercises each day despite the cold and discomfort. The idea for this experiment occurred to him the year before at the top of Mount Everest. It was an unusually beautiful day on Everest. Burdened by the weight of their oxygen bottles, three Frenchmen made it to the top of the world, 25 years after Tenzing and Hillary's historic feat. Once at the top, Nicholas Jaeger and his companions took off their masks. 8,848 meters high. The top of Mount Everest is the closest a man can get to the stratosphere. The air is three times thinner than at sea level. In other words, the body functions on three times less oxygen than normal. Until the spring of 1978, nobody in the world had ever breathed air like that without an oxygen bottle. Experts had said it was impossible. For one and a half hours, Nicholas Jaeger took photos and chatted with his companions, observing them with a doctor's eye. It was interesting from a medical point of view. I am surprised that one feels as well as one does at that altitude. We are all without masks. The second you move, you are completely breathless. But none of us has a headache. We are very comfortable. We are lucky to have such exceptional weather. It's not cold. The sun is warm. There is a slight wind from the north, but we are two meters below the ridge and we hardly feel it. While his companions were getting ready to descend, Jaeger, all alone, lit a filterless gitan, the highest cigarette in the world. It's no big deal for him, but it's an important indicator. If he is able to inhale smoke in such an oxygen-poor atmosphere, it's because he has a unique ability to withstand hypoxia. Mm -hmm. 